Good, thank you. And um, thank you, Abe, for including me today. Um, my kids grew up with Brian. So I found it uh, interesting what my, what my son said when I told him that Brian had died. Matt said to me, I remember Brian as having a belly laugh that came from the core of his being. That's how I remember Brian too, with a belly laugh that convinced any skeptic that Brian was on your side. That's how he persuaded uh, traditional journalists that there might be a more creative way to tell a story or that new media, as we called it back in those days, was indeed the future of journalism um, or that diversity in the newsroom might, believe it or not, actually be a good thing. I was vice president for news of Knight Ritter. Um, when our friend Larry Olmsted was promoted, I knew that I wanted Brian to take over Larry's job, working with about half of our 32 daily papers with me working with the other half. Uh, as I suspected, it was the perfect match. With that belly laugh helping, uh, Brian played both editor and professor way before he even was a professor. And I never second guessed my choice, especially on the day that Stan Tyner, the editor of the Sun Herald in Biloxi in Gulfport, Mississippi, called me at home as Hurricane Katrina came ashore. Stan said three words, we need help. As it happened, I was retiring from Knight Ritter, I think the next day or very close to it. So of course I called Brian, what else would I do? Before I could ask him to head to Biloxi and, and really to head to great danger, he was packing and figuring out where to buy the equipment that eventually allowed the paper to publish and to win the Pulitzer Prize. I have so many memories of Brian's warmth and talent and also of a scary, a scary memory of taking him to the hospital in Washington DC when he was uh, in a diabetic coma some years ago. But rather than go over memories from the past, I have breaking news of what Brian is doing this very day. I hear that he's hanging out with our former boss, Bob Ingram, who died 12 days ago. If my information is correct, Brian and Bob are working on some technological problem. And my sources say that these two giant innovators in the history of journalism, giant, have agreed on a solution to the problem. And you know, that's why I can hear Brian's belly laugh right now from far away. Thank you.